Hi, in this video you're going to learn the song Rhythmico from London College of Music Exam Step 1. Rhythmico is uh, a modern piece of uh, music, it's written in the 20th century, and there's a rhythm for the right hand fingers, and the rhythm uh, in the song, you should aim to make the tempo uh, lively and steady, so you can capture the rhythmic feel of the song. So let's go ahead and try to play Rhythmico. So let me play your tempo first uh, on a speed 80 beat per minute. I know uh, it's 108, which I think it's a little bit fast for now, but we can start or you can start with 80 and gradually increase the speed by five until you reach 108. Uh, so we'll start with uh, 80 beat per minute. Okay, so this song, uh, again, it's a good exercise to practice the notes on the fifth string, the A, B, and C. And we're combining the thumb with the index and middle finger. And I'm sure you saw a pattern uh, on the first string. So let's take a look at the first bar. We we'll start with the A, the fifth string open, with the thumb. You can play that wrist stroke. And then it's a question of you start with an I or an M, doesn't matter, you can start M, I, M, or I, M, I. And then C, and it's, it's important to press and hold the note so it lasts for two beats. If I do this, you can see that the sound stopped and it's two beats so it's better to hold it while you're playing. Okay, now the rest above the, uh, the A and the C, this is an eighth note rest which basically means we don't play um, uh, a note on this one. When we play the A, we do not play uh, any notes with it. So the count is one and two and three and four and. To explain it more, I'll play the bass alone. So we can play one, two, three, four. And in the, the time of two beats, one, two, you should play the... But when we play the A, we do not play any note with it. So that's why there's a rest. And if you remember from the first part, uh, this is, uh, uh, is written, this one is written in two voices. So the top voice, which is the melody, must be four beats. So that's why the rest is there. I, I hope this one is clear for you. So the count again is one and two and three and four and. And then we play the B, which is four beats. So you need to hold it uh, for the duration of the whole bar. And again, there's a rest uh, on top of the B, one beat rest, because the count is one, two, three, four. So we don't play 
on the first beat, we don't play anything on the top voice. That's why there's a rest. Same thing with the eighth note rest, we don't play anything uh, on the first beat. And then the third bar, which is the same as the first bar, and then B, and this time it's E, and B is two beats. And then we move on, fourth string D. Again, it's a rest stroke, and you play the D on the second string, third fret, F on the first uh, string, first fret, and then A, then C, second string, fret number one. Sixth string open, second string open, C, B, same string open. So again, this bar. Then A, B, C. And the count here is one. Four. And then go back to the D and the D. One and two and three, four. One and two and three, four. And then the sixth string. One and two and three, four. Sixth, uh, fifth string open, one, two, three, four, and that's the rest of two beats. One, two, and on the three, we play the A, three, four. Take your time with this one. If 80 uh, beat per minute is too fast for you, um, you can start on 60 or even 50. The important thing is to keep the timing correct. One and two and three and four and. And then gradually increase the speed. You don't need to play it on 108 unless you're going to take the exam. Play it until you're uh, satisfied with the melody and your speed. And then move on to the next one. So thank you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.